All right, we're here at Dean Lane Skate Park in Bristol. Uh, we're just waiting for our next rider. Um, we've got some really nice light and uh, we're going to get Dale, which is the BMX rider, to ride the ramps. He's going to do some tricks. Um, and we're going to start off with the 70 to 200 and I'm going to get nice and wide again um, and experiment with different shots. And, uh, and yeah, funny enough, the skate park, um, this is where photography started for me. When I used to ride BMX, I had a little point and shoot and yeah, it got me into, into photography. So it's good to be back. Okay, I'm back in the corner of the park. Um, I've got the 7200 on, I'm wide open at F28. And uh, I'm gonna shoot vertical. And I just want to get the graffiti on the, on the uh, building behind this quarter pipe here that these skateboarders are on. And um, I mean, Dale's going to go up, he may do a no-hander, so he's going to take the hands off the bars. Um, and I'm going to attempt to, to capture it. Pretty easy shot. It's going to look really nice, quite simple, um, but look really good with all the graffiti here. You know, it's a heavily graffiti skate park. I'm going to set my focus on the quarter pipe itself near the top. Um, and I'll probably keep it there. I'll take it off and put it onto manual focus. So I've preset my focus. I know in that focal plane, he's going to be sharp. Um, and yeah, I'm going to match my, have my shutter speed actually in aperture priority. Um, I'll keep my ISO quite low and we've got plenty of light, especially F28. Um, so yeah, we're going to wait on Dale, see what he's got. low down to the floor because the height that Dale's getting out of the quarter pipe is getting a little bit lost in the background so me coming down is pushing him higher into the frame and separating him from the gap in between the buildings so um, I've caught him just about right it's quite a fast trick so he's going to take his hands off and put him back on um, so again it's one of those tricks where you need to get that trick looking just right so if I was half a second uh, before or after you know you would have seen him probably with his hands still on the bars and you would not have seen the no hands so again this is a great subject to kind of learn to practice with to know when you're going to get the shot um, what you're looking for in terms of what the rider can do with the trick Nice, yeah, came out really well. So again, we've got Dell coming out the quarter pipe, getting nice and high. I've gone down low to try and em emphasize on the height he's got. And as you can see there, it's nice and sharp. Hands fully back. Yeah, we nailed it. That's kind of the shot we're looking for. Nice. Now I'm just gonna get two different angles. Um, because Dell it's kind of tucked itself in, you know, the profile, we're looking at more of the profile of the rider, how they sit in the frame. So I've moved around in order to kind of get my angle uh, looking more at Dell. So I'm seeing more of him, more of the face of the rider rather than being more behind him. So I've just got to come around and I'm more side on as well. So I've kind of come uh, shooting with the telephoto, the 7200, um, purely because I want him larger in the frame and I want to kind of compress the background to bring it in. And um, yeah, it's just, 
I don't always love getting so close to the action. It's nice to, to kind of be far away and zoom in. Um, it helps you just tell a little bit of a different story as well. Nice. Again, just bring him round, just give him a bit more of a profile face onto the camera. Um, and again, just shooting nice and low, getting above the tops of the buildings. Um, yeah, happy with that. I think we're going to move on to the next shot. And having Dale do something on there, that'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, cool. The silhouette. Yeah. yeah. I'll get him doing the flare. So he's going to do a flare on this quarter pipe that he's been doing the no-hander on. So the flare is where he actually goes upside down, does a backflip, but also does a 180. So he comes on and tucks himself over and he lands back down on the quarter pipe. Pretty cool trick. Again, I may shoot further back. Um, and zoom in like I have been doing with the no-hander. I could go super wide, uh, but again, shooting super wide, you may lose him in frame, um, but we'll see. Like that. But I might mix up now and go wide. I could go wide, either go up on the deck, because that's always a cool shot, or Lower down. Um, yeah, just trying to mix up really. I've come up here. Um, I've stuck the wide on, so the 16 to 35. I think this will make quite an interesting shot. So the rider, uh, Dell, is going to come up and do a flare. So he's going to do a back somersault with a 180. Um, and then with him, me being up there, looking down, he's going to come up into shot, which would make quite a cool angle. And um, it'll really bring you in as a viewer to the image. Um, I can get super close to Dell. So yeah, so that's why I've come up here. I'm ready. pretty good. I'm going to get lower um, just so I can get more down to and get Dell higher up in the frame but as far as as composition it's looking quite exciting. Maybe a tail whip. Uh, maybe no hander. So I'm going to hold the camera up so you can come Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Um, all right, so I went up to the top and here shooting pretty wide open at 16 mil. I've got Dell coming up, doing the flare, so that's the backflip with the um, 180 involved as well. But I've just got him coming round, looking at the core pipe um, as he's coming into land. And then I took another one of, again, doing a no-hander. Um, just mixing up the different views. So it allows you as a viewer to almost almost have you as you stood up there looking at Dell uh, rather than being down low with the 7200. It's just mixing up. You just get two different results. So again, super wide. It's showing you all the all the uh, graffiti, which is pretty cool. Um, and we got Dell in the top corner, blasting out of the quarter pipe, doing a no hammer. Nice. And again with that, 
I had to preset my focus. So taking a guess where Dale was going to come up out of the quarter pipe, I put my focus spot on the coping, which is the metal at the top. I focused there, turned it back onto manual focus, so my focus was set, and then I then composed the shot. Um, and that's a really good tip for when you have someone coming up and doing a trick, um, and you know you've got no time for the camera to lock on and to focus. Um, if you preset your focus, then you're going to get pretty good results. Okay, so what we're doing, we're going to use this John Box, which is in the middle of the skate park. The sun's come back out from behind the clouds. We've got this lovely golden light. Um, we're about an hour now from sunset. So I'm going to get Dell coming over, doing a towel whip. So that's where he's going to go in the air, kick the bike 360 um, and land back on it. Meanwhile, I'm going to be with the 7200 again because I kind of want to punch into Dell. I don't want to have too much, but I'm going to shoot pretty fast on this so he's like a silhouette in the air um, so I'm gonna get over there Dow's gonna come and jump straight over so we'll see should be a nice shot there's some really cool lines with the uh, from the fences coming in which is nice I hope you guys have noticed that some nice detail on the floor love it all right let's see actually I've got some lovely side lights so I might not keep it silhouette, I may do two, I may use slightly less shutter speed um, to keep the detail in Dell and then I'll ramp it up to make him into a silhouette because uh, it's really nice light looking through this telephoto right now. Oh yes, that was perfect. Got the shot. I think we call it. Yeah, there's just some really nice light. Do you want the bike out more? Show more of the bike in the. You know what I mean? And I can try and push out a little bit. So I don't mind, man. I mean, I just got you a little bit. I don't have a little bit early later, so just the bike come around. But yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, nice. Okay, so um, this is where. Focusing again is really hard. Dell is going to come into shot, and because it's quite a tight crop, I don't have enough time for the camera to um, focus on him and then take the shutter. So again, I'm pre-focusing on the end of the ramp here of the fun box, and then by switching into manual focus, I'm then just turning the um, manual focus ring just so it's focusing maybe two feet back from. Um, where I was and then it's enabling them to get Dell in shot and in focus correctly. Dell, can you stand on the top? I'm just going to show a technique for focusing. Yeah. yeah? Okay, also a great little tip for focusing, or if you want to pre-focus, is get the rider or your subject to stand on the point where you want to take the shot, focus on them, move it back into manual focus, and then if you're in the same spot, you're good to go. Yeah? So you're going off to the side now, aren't you? Yeah, I'll come around then. I hope I might get you silhouette then. Yeah. Yeah, All right. <laughs> if uh, yeah, see what's like. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to move around now. So we've got some really nice light um, in those shots. Really nice soft golden light. But now I want to try and mix it up and get the silhouette shots of Dell coming over the box. Um, so I'm going to position myself further around now. Try and get the sun almost behind him. Let's we'll see. That's come out pretty cool. Um, that was crap. 
He thinks it wasn't good, but that was cool. You just need to tweak a bit more. Yeah. yeah. That's fine, man. That's good. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, like a nice silhouette shot. But... We'll give another one a bang. Yeah, we'll yeah. Try and get more. You, yeah. Your bars are not too bad. Quite square, aren't they? But can you get it clicked? Like Click more. Yeah. All right, man. Okay. I'm going to do another one. Dale's going to give it another 10%. Hopefully we'll nail the shot. Should have bought my knee pads. Again, getting low to the ground with the camera is going to emphasize the height, making more tall in frame. That sounds good as well. I wonder if I was, do you think that was all right? Or do you think that's a little bit, is you a bit more crank than that? I felt like I was a second, like a tad late. Yeah, we'll give another one a go. Is that all right, Dale? Yeah, it's getting a bit Sorry, more. man, yeah. That's fine. Okay. okay, we're going to do one more. Uh, I was a fraction late, so Dell had his bars right around and I just caught him coming back around. That's kind of cool, no? Eh? If I come closer, you may be above the, um, the railings then. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm right, going to move a bit closer. Um, I'm going to try and get Dell above those railings because um, though it's quite cool, it's quite a busy shot and to have him in his own space in the frame would be really nice. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to zoom out but come in and zoom with my feet. Oh, Dell! Sorry dude, can you stand on top again? Okay. Do, we're going to do another one. I'm going to come a bit lower and get right to the ground now. Nice. Okay, we got it. We got the shot. So we got Dell in his own space, just above the railings. <laughs> it's cool. We've got a seagull on top of the post, which is a good bonus. So again, it's to make a nice black and white or we can just keep it as a silhouette um, but yeah using the the sun um, to create this pretty decent effect nice one Dale cheers buddy I think that's a that's a wrap on this shoot we've now got one more with our flatland rider Matty um, so we're gonna head there right now maybe get some chips because I'm starving <laughs>